The Capsa Clopsa are an integral part of Capetonian culture, whereby each year brightly clothed troops march the streets and entertain the crowds as a celebration of the Tuir de Nivillard. With their roots deeply embedded in colonial history, the Cape minstrels are a prime example of turning lemons into lemonade. The tradition of Tuir de Nivillard was established by the slaves of the Cape more than a century ago, dating back to 1907. Cape slavery was different from slavery in Europe and the Americas, because at the time, Cape Town as it is now known, was a pit stop for sailors and merchants from around the world, which gave rise to a widely cosmopolitan society. This diversity led to a multicultural slave population, majority of which came from Northern Africa and Asia. The mix of cultures from African and Asian slaves, together with that of the European colonizers, meant that slaves were eventually able to create an identity of their own, which dominated Cape societies. It was against this backdrop that the Tuir de Nivillard celebration was born. This celebration was originally influenced by the Dutch festival, Magi, which takes place on the 5th or the 6th of January. In 1674, by order of the governor, slaves were for the first time allowed to participate in the celebration on January 2nd. They refrained from work and were offered clothing and tobacco. Furthermore, farmers would travel from inland with their slaves to spend time with relatives in the city. This formed the foundation on which Tuir de Nivillard was developed. By the end of the 19th century, Cape Town was introduced to the American blackface minstrels, which changed the way in which the New Year was celebrated. The American troops were made up of white comedians, singers, and musicians who would impersonate inhabitants of the South. They would do this by wearing eccentric clothing such as colorful tailcoats to mimic high society figures, and they would blacken their faces with burnt cork to imitate the African-American slaves. The singing of Negro songs and playing of instruments were essential elements of the act. The members of these troops were called coons, which was a racist term referring to the inferiority of slaves. A word now which has been redefined and is now used proudly by modern Tweed and Nivillard troops. Over time, slaves became resilient and looked to ways that would make their lives more bearable. This came in the form of dancing and playing music at picnics and weddings, which would later develop into the Tweed and Nivillard celebration we know today. This tradition was created in an attempt to ensure happier futures for their children. Clothes is fun. You know, um, since I started out with the Kumis, I met so many people. That is now for the last 18 years that I've been friends with them. And they out of clubs, so we're still buddies. Uh, we, we go out together. We Club is, is a, a body that's full of happiness and New Year is a time of happiness and we love to see everybody happy and smiles on their faces. Come.